Whoa, it's Mr. Radio Change. It's Mr. Radio Change. Oh, hey, 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 students. Hey, rate of change, rate of change. Let's get the slope. Gotta take a change in your Y and change your X. Rate of change, rate of slope. Oh, sorry. Okay. Sorry, my bad. Um, all right. Well, here what we're going to do here in 2 3 is uh, a little bit of rate of change and some slope. Um, keep in mind that your rate of change is just a ratio that compares one quantity and how much it changes in relation to another quantity. So there are two different things in life that you're changing here. Um, so what I want you to do is I want you to think of three examples where you can actually see rate of change in everyday life. So we give you like five seconds here to think. Okay, one, two, seven, twelve. Uh, okay, a um, couple things. One thing I always think of is like the, uh, the change in the price of oil and how much that affects your change in your price of gas. Because we all know we love spinning that full 350 a gallon uh, when early in the morning it could have been like 313. That's awesome. Uh, there was a time not too long ago, back in the olden days, when I was a young pup, that I used to get gas for 96 cents a gallon. Yes, it was not that long ago. And it was glorious. So let's look at our first example here. Oh, hey, mom. Um, looks just like her, right? That's not my mom. Um, all right, so what we wanna do is we wanna find a rate of change for this set of data. We have our time in minutes, our distance in feet, and when we look at a horizontal table like this, your top row is always your X's, your bottom row is always your Y's. So we're gonna to try to find our change in Y's over last name start your change in your X. And since our Y's is our distance, we're gonna find the change in our distance in feet over the change in our time. And that looks like pi. Doesn't look right. Uh, and our change in time, which that is in minutes. So what we wanna look at is we wanna choose any two pairs. It doesn't matter what two points we choose. Um, I'm gonna choose probably this 424 and heck, I'll even use this 848 down here. Because keep in mind, this is really the ordered pair of four comma 24. And this is the ordered pair of eight comma 48. Um, all of these values should be nice and have a nice little pattern to them. So let's find our change in our distance. Well, if we start at 48, and we're gonna subtract 24 from there, then what we can also do is we need to take our change in our time. Now, if you write your 48 first, you need to put the time that goes with your 48, which is eight. So don't goof up and put four minus eight here instead. So when you subtract these, you end up getting a 24 over four, which that reduces and that ends up giving you a six. Well, since we're talking about rate of change, we need to know what two things we are comparing here. So how about the top distance that's measured in feet? So we're changing six feet per our time, which is in minutes. So our answer would end up being six feet per minute. And so that is how you can find your rate of change when you're given a chart so I hope this example helped you out from Mr. Rated Chain.